the number one killer worldwide is heart disease, clogging of the arteries, not allowing oxygen to get to the cells of our body. If oxygen doesn't get to the heart, we call it a heart attack. If it doesn't get to the brain, we call it a stroke. Regardless, LDLs, the bad cholesterol, is something we need to look out for. And when our cholesterol being our bad cholesterol, when it's high, we need to get it down lower because high cholesterol will lead to blood pressure problems. It can lead to other systemic conditions in our body as well. So what I'm going to share with you today are the best ways, meaning the best foods that you could be eating right now to lower your bad cholesterol, to help your body naturally without drugs and to get great results. Oats are one of the greatest source of soluble fiber known as beta-glucans. This type of fiber forms a gel-like substance in our digestive tract, which helps reduce the absorption of cholesterol in the bloodstream. So by consuming oats regularly, you can lower your bad LDL cholesterol, and that soluble fiber slows digestion down. Great for insulin resistance, will make you more insulin sensitive. It slows the absorption of glucose into the cells, taking stress off the pancreas. That soluble fiber is a prebiotic. It feeds your probiotics. It keeps your immune system stronger. Just by having a good flora in your gut, that's gonna help lower your cholesterol as well. But soluble fiber works like a sponge. So when it sees cholesterol, it latches onto it and takes it out of the body. Your fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, are rich in omega-3s. These essential fats are known to reduce inflammation, lower your triglycerides, increase your good cholesterol, and lower your bad cholesterol. It's also known to help prevent the formation of blood clots and plaque buildup in the arteries, reducing the risk of heart disease. And your nuts, such as almonds, walnuts, and pistachios, are packed with heart-healthy fat, fiber, and plant sterols. These components work together to lower your bad LDL cholesterol. The monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats in nuts help reduce the absorption of cholesterol in the gut, while the fiber and plant sterols help block the absorption of cholesterol in the bloodstream. And olive oil is a key component in the Mediterranean diet, which is associated with numerous health benefits, including heart health. It's rich in monounsaturated fats, specifically oleic acid, which lowers the bad LDL cholesterol. It reduces the risk of heart disease. And your avocados are a nutrient-dense fruit that provides heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. These fats raise the good cholesterol and lower the bad cholesterol. Avocados are a great source of fiber, which aids in the digestion and contributes to lowering cholesterol levels. And I want you to know the difference between the LDL, the low-density lipoprotein, which is our bad cholesterol, and our HDLs, the high-density lipoproteins. You see, LDLs like the plaque in the arteries, but the HDLs go out and search for those LDLs, bring it back to the liver so they can be excreted from the body to prevent that placking. And your legumes, such as beans, lentils, and chickpeas, are rich in soluble fiber. It helps lower your bad cholesterol levels. They are also excellent source of plant-based protein, making them a healthy alternative to animal proteins. So by consuming legumes regularly, this will help lower your cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Your whole grains, like brown rice, quinoa, and whole wheat, are high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. The soluble fiber in whole grains lowers your bad cholesterol levels by reducing the absorption of cholesterol into the bloodstream. Whole grains can also provide essential nutrients, which can be a healthier choice compared to refined grains. Your berries, such as blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. They're rich in antioxidants, including anthocyanins and flavonoids. These compounds have been shown to reduce your bad cholesterol levels, lowering blood pressure, improving your overall heart health, and berries are extremely high in fiber, which aid in digestion and helps regulate cholesterol levels. And your leafy greens like spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are low in calories and high in fiber. It's filled with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're particularly rich in lutein, a carotenoid that's been linked to lowering levels of heart-clogging plaque. Leafy greens are also a great source of dietary nitrates, which help improve blood flow and reduce blood pressure. And those nitrates help increase nitric oxide, 
and nitric oxide in the endothelial cells on the inside of the arteries, it helps expand it, make it larger to allow more blood flow, more oxygen to get to the cells of your body, lowering blood pressure and keeping you much healthier. And lastly, dark chocolate. When consumed in moderation, this has heart healthy benefits. It contains antioxidants called flavonoids, which have been shown to improve heart health by reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure and improving blood flow. And I can tell you that if you cut down on those refined and processed sugars, your cholesterol levels are definitely going to come down. Your triglyceride levels are going to come down. Sugars have a direct relationship with high cholesterol. Be aware of the foods that's going inside your body. Whatever exercise you can do, walking, your hobbies, keep active, keep moving, hydrate, get your sleep, balance out your stresses because high stresses increase cortisol. Increased cortisol can raise your sugar levels as well as your cholesterol. So here you have it, the foods that you can start eating today. They will make tremendous changes for you so you can stay healthy and live a long, long life. And I hope this video can be a great asset for you, your family and loved ones. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.